I'm Kristina Inkiläinen. I'm the managing director of Espo Catering Limited. Espo Catering is a company owned by the city of Espo, and we serve kindergartens, schools, uh, food for older people as well, and as well we are taking care of the VIP uh, events Espo City is having. Okay. What do you think is the description of Cook's job in the future? Of course the basi basics will remain the same. You have to be a good cook and, and you have to to take care of the, the normal procedures, you have to follow the recipes as well. Uh, but in the future, I think that you have to be um, more customer orientated. Uh, you have to be a good team player. Um, food hygiene is very important. It, it's already now, but in the future as well. Um, you have to be um, independent when you are working you most probably you are mem member of a team which means that you have to be a good team player uh, but there can be occasions when you are working alone then you have to make decisions you have to take care of the business as well okay you answer a little bit but but what do you think what kind of skills do they need in future Team player is one very important, yeah. uh, and as I already said, the custom orientation is very important. Um, there used to be a time when, when the kitchen was in a separate area and, and then the, the cafe or the restaurant serving area was, a, a different, was in a different part of the building. Nowadays the kitchen is combined to the service area, so you, you are in front. And, and uh, you are on stage, more or less. So uh, you are meeting the customers and, and you have to take care of them. You have to, to serve them. You uh, have to be prepared to tell about the food, the ingredients you are using, why you are doing the food like you are doing, that kind of things. Okay. What kind of uh, requirements do your future cook needs? Um, the competition will be tough, so uh, um, people are working hard. Uh, you have to um, follow the trends, the food trends. The, the, they are changing very fast. If you are serving something which is very new, something very hot at the moment, you have to be prepared be that in, in three months' time it can be old already. Okay. So when we are actually planning the new curriculum, do you see there is something specific then? Do you see that, uh, is there any like uh, knife skills or some other specific uh, ideas that the students should know? I think you have to be, of course, you have the basics you ha have to learn at school and uh, then you have to be, uh, but you have to be ready to, to develop yourself. You are not ready when you're, you are finishing your school. Uh, so you have to be prepared that, that you have to understand that in this business you are never ready. You have to learn and you have to listen to your customers and you have to do it very carefully. What kind of skills do you think we be needed in the future about 2022? In 2022, it, it sounds that it's very far away, but it's only ten, about 10 years time, so it's yeah. very close in, in, in fact. Um, well, um, always to remember that who really pays your salary, the customers are paying your salary. Uh, don't think and don't assume that uh, if, you're a res if you are, for example, owning a restaurant, it will be the, there forever. The business idea will be changed and your customers, the, the clients will be different. So that kind of, um, you have to, to listen to your customers, you have to, to uh, understand that the environment is changing day by day. Okay. 
mentioned three most important things how the work of the restaurant industry will change in the next 10 years. Mm. People are traveling a lot already now and uh, they know very much about the people are very interested about food. They know about international cuisines, for example. They they want to have the same kind of uh, Asian food or Chinese food or Finnish food, which they have been served while they are where, when they have been on a holiday, for example. Uh, that's perhaps one thing. Um, then um, you have to understand that, uh, uh, like mentioned, the the competition will be tough. It, it already is, and your competitors are not only the other restaurants or cafes, be because you can buy food uh, in very many places at the moment already, in supermarkets, in, in kiosks, in, in uh, driving uh, units, in uh, counters, in, uh, you just name it, in cinemas, for example, you can buy a dinner already with a glass of wine. So. Uh, it's not only the restaurant as is, but, but it's, it's the, the, the whole uh, industry while we are talking about the food in industry, not, about the, not only about the um, restaurant business as well. Mm. Yeah. What about sustainability? How do you see that in uh, affecting future? It is already doing that and, and it will grow. Uh, people are very, very uh, interested about it. Uh, people want to know where the food is coming, is it's, if it's domestic or if it's international. Food hygiene is one thing which somehow belongs to that title as well. Uh, due to the fact that um, if there is some kind of a food scandal somewhere, people are immediately reacting to that kind of thing. And of course, uh, while talking about long distances, People are asking that, does it really make sense that we are importing food from other part of the world? Uh, what ex 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 um, always keep in mind that you are not ready. Uh, school is giving you good basics and then the businesses as it is, so that that will learn you a lot in the future as well. So um, of course you have to understand how how to prepare food, uh, how to take care of the hygiene processes. Every company, however, has some kind of own uh, culture and own instructions. So listen.